Hey, welcome back, Cloud Scholars. I hope your day is going well. I also want to say a special welcome to all those if this is your first time visiting Cloud Scholars and choosing one of my videos. My name is Kieran Tross, and in this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to set up Azure Virtual Network Pairing so that this way you can have two of your virtual, virtual networks within your portal so that they can communicate with each other. Now, as you can see on the screen, I have two uh, virtual networks here within our lab. This is the RG East VNet, and then we have a virtual network uh, West VNet as well. And if I click on the West US, you can see right here, we have a couple of different subnets. And these are our subnets here that, we, that we're gonna um, be utilizing. So I'm gonna choose the marketing subnet as the one that we're gonna use for this uh, lab. And then we need to make the marketing subnet work with our East region. And then this is our East uh, US subnets and I'm gonna make it communicate with this one as well. So let's take a step back and you know, I like to do teaching through a diagram. So I'm gonna jump over to a PowerPoint slide, show you exactly how this lab is gonna get constructed. And then we're gonna jump back over to the portal once that's completed. All right, so what we have here is we're gonna basically set this up where we have two virtual networks. We have a virtual network in the East US and then we have a virtual network in the West. Uh, the East US, the subnet is gonna be 10.0.2.0 slash 24. And the name of that subnet is the East DC. And we have a virtual machine in that uh, East DC. It's a Windows 11 machine. And then over on the other side, we have a West VNet uh, virtual network, and that's going to be a 10.22.8.0 slash 24. And then within that network, we're going to have a subnet called SB Marketing. So what we're going to do is uh, we want to get these two to speak with each other. That's first and foremost. So we want to set up the uh, uh, domain controller, or I should say domain controller, uh, Windows Server 2019 and give it the role of a web server. And what we're going to do from the East US region is we're going to log into that machine and try to pull up IIS. So we're going to put the uh, internal IP address of that uh, 2019 server in our, on our um, uh, virtual machine and see if we can pull it up. So the way we go about doing this is to make sure that everything is working right is by testing it, obviously, right? So we're going to access that VM using uh, using the uh, Windows 11 machine on the East region, and then we're going to pull it up and then say, okay, let's see if we can get into that IP address, uh, grabbing it from entering the IP address into the URL. Wait, give me a second, Cloud Scholars. I almost forgot. I did not even install IIS, so let's go ahead and do that first. So let's come over here. We're going to add a role and we're going to click next role based. That's fine. Keep going through. And what we're going to do, we're going to just hit down here for the web server. We're going to click on that. We're going to add the feature and we're going to click next. And I'm just going to go through this really quickly because that's not really what this video is really about. Um, if it needs to be restarted, then it's going to get restarted. And then we're just going to click on install. Once this gets completed, then I'll come back to the video and we'll make sure that um, this is working perfectly fine. I'm gonna log into the virtual machine on the East region location and see if we could ping. And you know, at this moment, we know it's not gonna work, but we just wanna test it out, say, okay, we know that uh, the pinging isn't working. And then from that point on, then we're gonna go ahead and set up the VPC pairing. Okay, so now we're on the East US uh, VM. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to try to pull up the internal IP address of our 2019 uh, Windows server, the one that's going to be running um, the web server, the IIS, and see exactly what happens there. And then not only just that, uh, we're gonna actually going to try ping across as well and see exactly what kind of information that we're going to get. But let me confirm um, exactly what the I, the internal IP address is before we go ahead and start plugging in information. So we come back over here, we have our marketing VM. That's the one that's gonna be running our 2019 data center. And it is 10.22.8.4. So let's go back over to our uh, virtual machine in the East region and let's see what happens. So if I put that address in there, you're gonna see nothing populates. And then if I come down here, and we can see our, we're logged in under our Scholar user, and I type in CMD. 
and I go to ping 10.22.8.4 and we see there's nothing going on there. Okay, so that's exactly how Azure is supposed to work. We're not supposed to have any access across our networks um, at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back over to the Azure portal and let's see what about setting up this uh, VPC pairing. Okay, Cloud Scholars, we're back over here at the Azure portal. And what you need to do is go into your virtual networks and you're going to choose your network that you want to do your pairing with. So I'm going to come up here to RG East US and I'm going to come down here to pairings. Once you get here to pairings, you can see there's nothing here. There's no pairings established at the moment. I'm gonna click on add. One of the things you need to do is create a pairing link name. So go ahead and put your name in. I'm gonna call the East VNet to West VNet. And I'm gonna take this name, I'm gonna copy it. And now in here, which is traffic to remote virtual network, you click allow, traffic forwarded to from remote virtual network, allow as well. Uh, virtual network gateway, you don't have to put anything in there. If you have a gateway, then that's something that you establish, but we're not gonna cover that in this video. And then remote parent name, what we're gonna do is, remember we copied it earlier, and we're, well, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take this right here. And this is basically in the other side. And we're gonna just say west. And we're going to say, okay, we're going to go through a uh, subscription. Cloud Scholars is perfectly fine. Virtual network, we're going to do RGVN West US. You can leave this section blank. You don't really need it. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on add. Now that'll take a little while. So once it finishes and wraps up, I'm going to come back to the video. Okay, so that is completed. So now if you look right now, you can see it says East VNet to West VNet and you can see parent status says connected, which is great. Now, if I were to go over to the West US VNet, you can see here as well, it says West VNet to East VNet and it says connected as well. So they are talking with each other. So let's jump back to our um, PowerPoint deck so we can see where we're at. Okay, so now that we've established a VPC, uh, the virtual um, network pairing, uh, what we need to do now is I'm back over on the Windows 11 machine and this is the moment of truth. Let me come down here to Microsoft Edge and then in Microsoft Edge, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up that same IP address. So I believe it was 10.22.8.4. 10 and if I pull that up, there it happens, right? So we are able to communicate across the network. As you can see here, it's pulling up that 10.22.8.4. That is the internal IP. So we have successfully set up our virtual network pairing within our organization. So I hope that everything that I've explained to you in this video makes sense. If there is something that you're still like, ah, I'm not really sure how that works, please leave a comment. I'm more than happy to uh, respond and provide you some more um, additional information if that is needed. I hope that uh, what you found in this video was beneficial for you. Um, it, it took me some time to uh, make these videos. I take a lot of time and pride into it. So please, if you haven't done so, please do smash that like and subscribe button and then also leave some comments and share a video with a friend. Um, it would be very, I'd, I'd very much appreciate it. You know, here at Cloud Scholars, my goal is to get you from scholar to consultant and from consultant to expert. Thank you and see you next time.